Make sure that you at least get a little pup tent up somewhere because when it starts raining, it often turns into hail and that is damaging. Ow. The simple workbench, which takes 10 wood bundles and four plant fibers. It has two augmentation slots that you don't learn about right away. And look at all of the valid augmentations. These are all things that can be built on to add additional use to your workbench. There's a lot of them. So when I say leave room for building the augmentations for your workstations, I'm not kidding. There's a lot of them. And of course the campfire, which also can be augmented and it gives you warmth and well lit. Then also look down in the bottom right corner, these cards, it will tell you when you build this, it grants the following recipes, healing salve, mixed plants, roasted berries, roasted meat. Those are the ones that we have so far based on what I've built in the game at this point. The simple tanning station can give you animal fiber, chitinous bone, chitinous hide, felt, leather, and straps. So these are gonna be things that are gonna help you to be able to make better gear. And the recipes for the workbench are many. And these will continue expanding as you add more augmentations. When you speak with your first essence trader, They'll have different recipes available. These are blueprints to be able to make things. You're not actually buying the thing itself. It's the crafting recipe. If you didn't find one on your way here, you definitely want to get the simple umbrella because when rain turns into hail and you're not under shelter, it can be deadly. The simple hammer is also a really good one to buy because it helps you to keep all in good repair because your structures will deteriorate over time and you're gonna need to repair them before they fall down, preferably. There will be realm cards for sale. These are minor realm cards that will adjust something about the realm, but you can't purchase these at first. At first you have to buy the items to make the realm cards before you can buy the actual realm card recipe. And the same is gonna be true for a lot of things. All of these are bought with essence dust. So if you don't have enough, you can go and find some in the world. You can take down enemies. You can convert things in your inventory. Also, one of the first things you wanna get is the simple sewing bench so that you'll be able to craft higher level clothes for yourself and for your helper. You can also buy basic resources here, but at the very beginning of the game, you're probably gonna need to be going out and getting them yourself. Once you get your first NPC helper, they'll come with an ax or a pickaxe. Whichever one they don't have, you should go ahead and make the other one so that they have one of each. That way they can help you with whichever task you need done. Right now, Adeline has a wood ax. I gave her a mining pick. I can right click and say equip. And now she'll mine stone for me instead of cutting down trees. Or if you have NPCs in an area where you don't want all the trees cut down, take away their ax. You can go ahead and go to the first antiquarium site of power, but you won't be able to go through the gate unless you have gear that is strong enough to allow you to walk through. So if right now I try to walk through the gate, nope, no doing it. To save yourself some time when cooking, if you click on an item, say roasted meat, pick the meat that you want to cook, then down here at the bottom, you can put the number higher and cook up to five of them at a time. To be able to label your angling basket, Simply hold E, choose the bottom option, rename, and type in your label. This is so helpful for organization, especially in a game that has this many things to craft. And you can also go back in and rename it to something else if you prefer. Notice there's a spot down here for container permissions and a checkbox. So if you want the other survivors with you to be able to place things in here or take things out to help you with building, you can give them permission. But if you want to save this for something else, just leave it unchecked. Using the glider, pushing F. But watch your stamina, yikes. After you've made yourself some new clothes, check with your friend and see if you can use what you just took off 
to upgrade them. When you're looking at crafting things from leather, scroll through and see what attributes you'll get from each. Everheart Deer is going to give me a 5% movement speed. Predator Pelt is going to give me 10% maximum health. Tier 1 Prey, 10% stamina. So mix up your gear to get the effects that you want most. You don't come with any kind of hat or head wrap, so that might be one to start with because you'll definitely get more for that than nothing. Once you have ingredients in, you can click again to look at the list, and as you scroll through, it'll show you if you change to something, what difference it'll make. So here, if I switch to the Everheart Deer, I'm going to go down on my maximum health. In order to get to the next level of tools at the crafting bench, you're going to need stone, wood bundle, and straps. So use some of those hides that you get to make you some strap to upgrade your tools as well as your clothes. The first one that you may want to make is the simple sling bow. Then you can make rocks into simple rock marble. Six rocks makes 20 rock marble, which is your ammo. So it's going to make it much easier to hunt. You can use right click to zoom and be able to aim better. You do have to reload after each shot. But unless you can trap a deer in a corner, it's going to be a good way to get some of the faster creatures. The simple climbing picks gives 48 melee damage, 10 strength, 1.5 crit damage, 10 magic power, stamina efficiency of 5%, and movement speed of 1%. And of course, the simple climbing picks are what is going to let you climb up sheer faces of cliff. Once you have a simple mining pick, you can start mining for gems, like this quartz, as well as ores, like this tin. If you need some more essence, remember that everything can be extracted into essence. Even a stack of plant fiber will result in giving you 100 essence. The first three sites of power, you need a certain gear score to be able to get into the site of power. First is the Antiquarium Site of Power. You need a gear score of 20. Second is the Astrolabe Site of Power that needs a 25 gear score. Third is the Herbarium Site of Power, which needs a gear score of 40. When you're looking at extracting a resource into dust, there's a slider bar right here. So you can choose how much you want to do. You don't have to do the whole stack. You can hit B for build. The first set you get is the crude buildings. There's a crude foundation. You have to place your building on a foundation or it won't let you build. If you find yourself you're encumbered, you can right click and drop some items. You can choose how many you want to drop by quantity or weight. When you drop it, it's out in front of you and your NPC might help you and pick it up for you. Now that I'm at a place I wouldn't have to jump, I can pick it up and walk encumbered over to where I want to build. But you're very slow when you're encumbered. As you go along building your base, you'll be accomplishing challenges as well. And as you accomplish each challenge, you'll be rewarded with essence dust. For building a structure of at least 10 pieces, which is the first one, you can then come and claim it to get your essence dust. You can place things on top of your different types of crafting and workbenches. And you'll notice there's a line going out connecting to the other workbenches in the area. This is showing that the augmentation for this item, which is a candle, will be affecting all of those and advancing them as well. So all of those items will get the augmentation of being well lit. When you're looking at any kind of crafting bench, there are two boxes up here that you can choose from to show only craftable and to show unknown. So these are recipes that can be made at this level of bench, but that I don't have the recipe for yet because these take refined fiber and I haven't made refined fiber yet but it tells me it's fiber that has been further processed and ordered use for clothing so I can look at it in this way to find what item it is that I need to work for next in order to upgrade to the next level if you want to edit or move something that you've placed down you can hit X and you'll see directions of what you can do on the right V will remove the item and circle to give you time to confirm Doing it this way gives you the full amount of resources back. You don't have to be in build mode first. You can just hit X to go into this editing screen. If you want to move it a bit, you can point at it, hold R, and then adjust where it's sitting. Rotate it however you want, and then put it back down. You can also point at it and hold Q for copy. 
if you'd like to have another one. Ta-da! If you have a lot of baskets sitting on top of your crafting table, you can still point underneath them to be able to craft items. The smelter is quite small, so it's easy to place it in your base. It uses the same type of fuel as the fireplace. You can also turn it off if you're not going to be using it to save fuel. As you're going through the game, remember to look in your journal every now and then at challenges and you'll notice all these different challenges and some of them will have check marks beside them. Whenever you accomplish something and a little thing pops up saying you got this challenge done, then there will be a reward for that challenge. Oftentimes it's essence dust. Sometimes it's something related to the challenge like a curative potion for combat. The higher that you get in the challenge that you completed, the better the reward will be. Relaxed is kind of like a state of rested. Your rate of stamina and health regeneration are increased. The comfort of a soft bed rejuvenates you and leaves spirits high until you rest again. And even as it starts ticking down, if you do a short rest, it starts all over again. So you can get a fresh one before you take off on your next journey. Whenever you come upon a random POI like this that has some fey chests around it, it seems to always have two. So make sure you look everywhere. Release Hope Echo. Simple umbrella. I should be able to repair my umbrella now, which is nice. It is nighttime and I am far from home, but I'm also far from my destination. I'm gonna go in this little alcove of this puzzle that I beat and set up a bed to sleep through the night. I'll even put down a campfire so I can get a better night's sleep. I'm gonna have a long rest. Now my rested buff, I'm all fed up. Time to go. The wet debuff, your rate of stamina regeneration is reduced. Your clothes are soaked through. Time will dry you. A fire will do so much more quickly. The debuff comes on when the wet gets past the half bar. Wherever you are in whatever realm and whatever you're doing, if you wanna go home, simply hit your M for map, look under your magical watch and say travel to respite, confirm. Ah, uh, home again. If you're in a crafting station and there's something you need that you don't have, but it's made by the same crafting station, if you click on it, it'll give you the definition and how to get it. I got my first T1 essence, 20 of them actually. So that's gonna let me make the next level of crafting stuff that I need to upgrade things. There is so much stuff to learn and do, and this is just the beginning. Consider subscribing for more Nightingale, and if this was helpful, maybe leave a like. Until next time, happy gaming.